Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It was goes Cruz for there. So today, Scarlet and Violet, baby. So um, we have been trying to keep up with everything coming out, and recently I've made some pretty big purchases. Um, these two, as well as a bunch of other stuff, was uh purchased. Sorry about that. Uh, my girlfriend's in the room trying to do homework, but you know, I wonder what she's doing. Anyway, she's the one that purchased these at Target. And, um, what's it called, uh, at Target, yeah, these two, she also got this bad boy, really excited for this, because there's more Crown Zenith there we haven't actually got, she got me this, uh, booster bundle, um, this Pikachu VMAX special collection box, Crown Zenith again, this other bad boy, this is a really cool one as well, this is a placemat, uh, this one's actually, I'm pretty excited for this one, this one looks cool, um, I actually ended up going to uh, GameStop because it was right next to uh, a store that I need to go to. And I just stopped in just to see if they had anything cool. They actually had a bunch of Pokemon cards. And they had this box, which is actually a really cool box. So, yeah, that one was... Uh, I picked that one up recently. Um, I do have a random blister pack that I don't know what I'm going to do with. And we have everything else we haven't opened up, like any of our Sword and Shield base set packs. Um, uh, this tin and the... Zapdos one, I think, because we opened the other uh, Kuno one, and just a bunch of other stuff that we haven't opened up uh, yet, like this bad boy. So there's a bunch of stuff that we'll, we'll be opening up for you guys in the upcoming days. But today is the day we will be opening up Scarlet and Violet. Now this is technically not the first pack I've opened because I had another Blister pack that I opened up first on TikTok. So uh, if you guys are interested in the first pack I ever opened up for Scarlet and Violet, it is actually on my TikTok. Um, so we'll open up this one of these bad boys. We'll open up the purple one because purple is slightly different than red. And um, I am pretty excited. I have seen a lot about what this set has to offer, uh, mostly through uh, the TCG, Pokemon TCG Live. Um, so that's the reason why I've actually seen a lot of what this box, um, this set has to offer. And I have seen some openings for it. Um, now, I haven't seen all the arts, I haven't seen what is everything in the set i have seen a lot of it and i have not actually touched or physically seen it through my actual eyes through like actual cards um i have seen the new changes and we'll talk about that in one second um and how the things are kind of done with this set i don't know all right scarlet and violet has really good stuff i like about it and stuff i don't particularly like about it this is the booster box uh the booster box the elite trainer box it does have it costs forty dollars it uh came comes with nine packs or was this 50 bucks one of the two uh but it comes with nine packs and one full art promo card uh it's a character card it's this one right here 65 sleeves 45 tcg uh energies a player's guide six damage counter dice uh, uh a flip coin die which is legal huh 55. seriously mm -hmm. damn all right, this is a expensive one. Two condition markers, a collection box to hold everything in with four dividers, and keep organized, and a code card for the Pokemon Season Live. So let's just get this bad boy opened up. We'll use one of our trusty knives here, and uh, which are meant for, like, wine and box cuttery stuff, but they work well enough. All right, seal has been broken. We have to, uh, first of all, I do want to look at this thing, actually. I want to see a brand new one. New is one that has come out. Jesus. Ah. Oh. So this is a poster thing that you can use if you really wanted to. Um, I use them actually in the background. I haven't changed mine in forever. Uh, but uh, we have the Gyarados, there's three starters, and then the two big guys for this set. Um, they can apparently have wheels or something. I don't know. They're like technology weird guys. He's an electric type. He's a fighting type. Um, they're the two big boys of the set. These are the starters. Um, and I have mixed opinions about this set in general. I'm not a big fan on how these guys look. I think they look too weird. 
Like, they almost look like Digimons or something. I don't know. Um, they look strange. The starters also, I'm not the biggest fan of. I cannot stand the duck. The duck is super generic, and it's just got this weird thing on his head. I do like the cat, but I don't like the cat's evolutions. I find his regular card look weird, and then his evolutions do look awesome. And then there's these uh, crystallized versions of um, cards, which is like a, a, a thing that this set is doing. So we'll grab this. We'll take this off, and we'll actually start looking at some of this stuff in here. All right. Take everything out of here. All right. So you do, of course, get the actual physical um, box. This is what it looks like. It looks actually nice. Uh, I like how it looks. They're still kind of going with this same type of shape uh, thing where they're doing like a nice... Like they're not actually keeping it all closed like Sun and Moon had and a little older ones had. Whereas the entire thing was filled... Uh, but it looks nice. I always like them. They're good for storing cards. Uh, and they're pretty cool. They come with four dividers. I do think the dividers look nice. They look very subtle and premium. And with this violet and gold color, which is kind of reflective with light. I like these. These are actually nice looking. Oh, all right. They might actually feel thinner than usual, though. Uh, who knows? We'll add this to the in here. We'll leave those in there. Uh, 45 sleeves. Uh, these are brand new sleeves. This is what they look like. Um, and this is interesting. They're numbered. Um, that's interesting. So they look very Japanese-like. Like, uh, this is a set that I think has that about it. Is that it brings a lot of Japanese features into English. Um, I like the overall how it looks. I don't get the double double part of having basic energy and basic energy here. Uh, I feel like that's pretty obvious. I don't know why you'd have to put it there twice. Um, there's a bottom thing there where it says uh, Scarlet Violet, Violet English. Does that mean all energies are going to have like separate set sets? That's strange. I do like the design of the energies though. I do have to go with that. I do like the design of the energies. There's 45 in here. I wasn't the biggest fan of the ones that replaced the ones that came out for Sword and Shield base set. I wasn't a big fan of those, but these are actually nice. I like these, at least what I've seen so far. Uh, so 45 energies. You do get uh, damage counters and a, a, a doi dice coin. Uh, so sets, these sets no longer have a symbol um, like sets had previously. They have... Uh, a different thing how they categorize themselves so this just says ex on it which stands for one which i get it's the introduction of ex cards or reintroduction of ex cards in a different fashion uh so ex cards have actually been used in two types of cards ex like these agron and it was a, a separate version of ex cards which were kind of look more like this level x uh lucario those are pretty cool uh but yeah it's pretty interesting uh, it, it's pretty cool. This is a, it's a cool one. A little translucent. You can see a little through it. This is what they look like. Nice marbling. I actually like these, this design of these. These are nice. I'll put these here to the side. Do get some... You do get a code card for the Pokemon CCG uh, live. That's cool. You can use that. That'll be a nice thing to get. Uh, differently, they're uh, put in a different type of um, packaging here. Just open these up, and I'm not a big fan of these. These feel even cheaper than they did before. As you can see, they look like they were clearly just ripped off. They're already scratched up. This is the poison. This is the burn one. These feel so bad and so much worse than the old ones. Like, they just feel so much cheaper. And I don't know what the style is. I'm not a big fan of these. These, are these I think, are a little strange looking. And uh, there is 45 sleeves, 65 sleeves. Of course, uh, these are um, tournament legal. You can totally use them. We'll just use this uh, random basic energy from a pack we opened up previously. Um, and they fit, fit a little loose. Uh, and they're not the most durable. They look nice. They're great to collect. They're not the most durable. And you can put them in 
binders and in top loaders they work fine but they uh for top loaders you might actually mess up the edges of the the thing not the actual card so i don't know if i would recommend that and they're not the most durable but they are tournament legal you get 65 60 for a sleeve and they look really nice so i actually really like the design of these all right we'll get a little bit closer start putting everything else to the side even more than before and we'll look at take a look at this bad boy this is where it has a lot of its differences to english we'll talk about that so um once again the border is a different color they're not going with yellow anymore which is interesting that's very japanese like japanese has been doing that for a little bit um English has always had that yellow border, which I think is a strange move to go with. Um, I've always really liked the, the yellow look. It, it feels homey, but I guess maybe it's just something I have to get get used to. Um, so there is the, if I let it zoom in, it is, there it has it, Black Star Promo 13. And there you have it. It does have a SVP, which stands for Scarlet and Violet promo and then it says en for english yeah so that is very similar to what the japanese cards do and they've had a very similar system for a very long time um english has had always for i mean as long as i can remember it's symbols which i'm a massive fan of now it's kind of hard to tell what set they're from and i think that might be the reason why they switched it uh, but because uh, uh, it's hard to tell what set, but I, I liked it. It was unique. Um, so, but yeah, this is a really nice card. I really do like how it looks. Um, really, really, really pretty card, actually. I really like how it looks. We'll look in here. This is the Scarlet uh, Violet Player's Guide for all the new changes, of course. There's also a rotation change. So that's a really big one. Um, so one of the big differences is the EX cards. Now, EX cards are very different to V cards, EX cards, and GX cards. Uh, I'd say they're a weird combination between regular EX cards and GX cards. Um, and the reason they fall probably closest to GX card without their special uh, thing is because uh, they're, you can uh, uh, evolve regular cards like this one to its EX counterpart just like you could gx cards there is no special um attack so they're very similar like the original ex cards or v cards for example um and their art looks very similar to ex cards which is actually nice i like that I, I i do love how v cards look uh but you know there's that there's the this weird thing where it talks all about uh the weird special um the like crystallized version of cards um uh, and uh, I do want to start looking into it. So this is an interesting set. It does have a reverse slot, just like most set current dates do now. Um, and um, so this is a brand new system that they have. Um, common, uncommon, rare, double rare, ultra rare, illustration rare, special illustration rare, and hyper rare. I'm sorry, but that's absolutely ridiculous. I find that really dumb. Um, English has always had common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare. And in it, technically, it could go secret rare or rainbow rare. But secret rare meant it just went over the, above the set and it wasn't rainbow. And then rainbow was just rainbow cards. Um, to be fair, um, I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how the prices will change about stuff like this. Uh, again, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it looks. This is what the set cards on the set cards look like. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Nothing too special here. There's that Magma Zone EX, which is cool. This God of War EX is playable, and this bad boy is also playable. He's also one of the big buys. Uh, there's a Lucario. I would like to get that. That would be a nice card to pull. There's this guy, that EX card. This is Toxicroak. This is another playable card, actually, in current sets. Um, I haven't seen too much of these guys. Uh, and um, pretty standard here. It's towards the end where we get some really cool stuff. Uh, there are some really nice, really nice character cards, which are, are, are really cool. Um, these have the... 
the regular gold. So what, what's their classification? That's something I, I'm going to have to memorize. It's going to take me a while. Illustration rare. That's what they're called. So character cards are going to just be illustration rare. Again, all most cards were just ultra rare back in the day. So kind of feels weird. There's a lot of them. Uh, oh, my God. There's some really pretty ones in here. Uh, this one has to be my favorite one. Rylu. Oh, dude, he looks so adorable. Look at this one. That's really pretty. That, that's got to be one of my the ones I, I'm definitely looking after. Um, there's some really good ones in here. Uh, these are probably going to be up there with some of the biggest, most expensive cards. These up right here. Those look really nice. Uh, there's some uh, regular... I think these are ultra rares, which is strange. Um, some pretty cool stuff here. That's cool. Um, more stuff over here. And then we, these are going to be the... the What What the hell are these called? Double, enter, double gold star. Special illustration rares up there. I know that card's, card is expensive. And then we have hyper rares. Cool. All right. So, uh, again, a little bit weird, but uh, uh, interesting, uh, to say the least. Um, what cards am I really looking for? I'll take uh, any of the gold cards. Any th This card, I would love to take this card right here. Um, that Rylu out of old character cards are probably the one I want. If I'm getting a regular EX card, I'll take this guy's, or a Gyarados would be nice. Uh, I, I don't actually have a preference for most cards. I'll take basically any good pulls. Uh, but if I'm really looking for any card I really do want, it might be this Ryler, personally. All right. Well, keep this to the side because we're definitely going to need it. Sorry this video is already being super long. I'm just trying to be very thorough because this is the first time I'm really opening up this set. And um, really want to really want to see it. Um, so this is the pack arts. Um, pretty standard. Again, the two big guys, which makes sense. The three starters and then Gyarados, which is kind of a weird throw. But it's cool. It is what it is. Yeah, so there's nine packs. One, two, three, four, five, which is a weird amount of packs, but it is what it is. And let's just get right into it. Another big difference is how these cards are actually set up. So there is the code card, but the code cards apparently don't tell you if there's a good pull or not because guaranteed holographic. So there is no card trick anymore. It's just an energy at the end. And then you can just throw it around, uh, which is interesting. And I'll show you guys the next thing, because uh, it'll most likely be in this. So you have a, that's a nice one. Balloon guy. This is a new guy. I'm going to have to learn the names, so it's going to take me a while. A Varum. It's an interesting one. Magikarp. Can I, I don't know how I feel about the border or the set. Averin, that's a playable card. He's currently uh, playable. He's pretty used currently. Oh, this is a nice one. Uncommon. All right, pretty cool. That's a nice... I actually like the art. Oh, this is a nice one of all, actually. I'll take that. So, as you guys can see, if we count it correctly, there's two reverses in this set. Super strange. I like that. I am a massive fan of two reverse cards. Reason. Um... We've been seeing a lot of reverse slots being taken up, which increases the value of reverse cards, and they're really hard to actually get. So I'm a massive fan for the ability to give us two reverse slots. One, guaranteeing us reverses. The other slot, guaranteeing us reverses. Or better, specifically illustration arts or illustration rares. I'm totally down for that. So there's another one, Quaxley, which is one of the starters. So... And I like the I like them. They look very X Y um, or yeah, they look pretty X Y. The, the the look or Sun and Mooney uh, compared to the, the more current ones. And your guaranteed holographics. Don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. So that's just the regular rare. Um, I, again, I don't know how I feel about that, and the reason is is because um. It lowers the value of all holographic cards. And I've always felt the holographic cards have been kind of being kicked over and over again. But it seems like V cards and EX cards are just regular pulls nowadays. They're pretty common compared back to the day that they were massive. Having a couple of them in your collection is cool. 
Uh, I mean, back in back back in the day, just having holographic cards was super cool. So I think it takes away a little bit from that, but eh, don't know how I feel about it. Just you know, being guaranteed holographics constantly. It also means that you're gonna get a lot of holographics consistently the same. So you're gonna get them a lot. Um, a lot of doubles of those. So first pack, nothing too special. All right, next pack. These actually do feel really nice, though. Like they're, uh, they're, they're what's it called? Um, their quality feels nice. There's a oh man, look at that! Look how messed up bent that is, though. Scatterbug, Shuppet, Spurger. Spaghetti? How do you say this one? I can't see it. It's like spaghetti. Sp Spaghettito. <laughs> Spaghettito. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> Spanish? <laughs> yeah, there's like uh, people are calling the spaghetti cat. Who's calling it that? Everybody. No. Yes. It's a spaghetti. It's spaghetti cat. That's what uh, Max Mofo calls it. Spaghetti. 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 I don't know what to say. Spaghetti. <laughs> Hondor. Spirit Tomb. Ultra Ball. S breath, that's a weird looking one. It's like looks like a like an ostrich. That's like emo or something. Oh, spaghetti cat, spaghetti cat boy, spaghetti, spaghetti cat and Quaxly. We pulled both of them in reverses. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, and we started with a clauncher there, and that is a illustration rare. I think that's what the the, uh, the weird the weirdness. Oh man, I am a big fan. I have seen a couple of these, not all of them, but I've seen a couple of them. They're very um uh non Pokemon focus and very uh overall focus, which is really cool. And we start with the regular EX card, baby. And that's a really cool that's actually a good pull because I actually like this card. I've actually made a deck for him, which is playable. The only thing that sucks about him is that um well he's a uh, weakness is psychic and there's so many psychic decks going around right now. Mew's still around the Law Zone decks are still around. The Garter War deck is uh, currently being really strong up there. It does have one thing. It does do good against Electric decks. And Electric decks are pretty popping right now. Um, this is a really cool card. And something really interesting is... It, this is an Ultra Rare. There you guys can see it, I think. Yeah, it's got like little stars. We have seen this pattern in Japanese as a reverse. We have not seen it as a holographic. I don't know how I feel about it. <sighs> Looks a little strange. Feels very Digimon-y. You want to look at the card? Pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right. All right. You said you wanted to eat a lobster. He's a lobster. I don't think he's a... He's more like a crawfish. These packs are, like, really thick. Like, the packs themselves. Like, they're really, really weirdly glued together. They don't fall apart, like, easily as the last ones used to. Just energy is taken away. Super strange. There's no longer a card trick, which is actually nice. Clauncher there. The the Lavi, the Olivey, Quaxley. No Quaxley there. Looks so weird. Ponyard. Ponyard did get his third evolution, which I think is cool. Disgusting looking dog. Oh, all right. We got a nice trainer card. Spare tomb. Growlithe. That's a nice Growlithe, actually. Ah, pretty standard art, I think, though. We have a regular uh, Fat Cactus Man. A reverse. And we actually do get a nice holograph. Well, we're guaranteed holographics. This is the last evolution of the the fire one. He looks weird. Like, he looks cool, but also really Digimon-y. I feel like that's my, that's my look. I feel like a lot of people have been responding to that. Like, Max Mofo was like that. I, I, I don't know. They look very... I guess you have to get used to it because I feel like a lot of us felt like that during Sword and Shield base set. So, you know, to be fair, I'd been gone for so long that all the Pokemon kind of looked weird. Um, So, we'll have to get settled to these cards, you know? We'll have to get kind of used to it. All right, second pack didn't have anything, but that's okay. All right, we'll start probably speeding this up. This is going to be a long-ass video, and I apologize for that already. Um, Just being being you know thorough in my actions energy doesn't matter we turn around magic carp magnemite 
Spider, it's like uh, Silk Spider or something, whatever his name is. Pokemon Catcher, Flim Flamingo, 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 Flamingo. No, no, N. Flamingo. Flamingo. That's weird. Forrester, Rocky Helmet, Bisharp. All right, I like Bisharp. I like. I've always been a big fan of Bisharp. I think how he looks cool. I also, I don't know how I feel about this, like, little circle thingy. It looks weird. Gotta get used to it. Pinecoat. This looks very similar to some of the other RTs had. And we do just get a regular holographic. Oh, but it is horribly cut. Look how unevenly cut. English? Come on, English. All right. He, oh, and he's the, he's the new Pikachu for this set. But he's got the entire evolution line. So every year they do a, a rat, a, a rodent, um, electric type, and he's him. He, he's this generation's. Get that card, card out of here. We'll do that super quickly. Oh, I there's no card trick. Oops. Clauncher there. Hair across. Defiance band. Oh, the balloon guy. Uh, this is, um, what is this guy? What is he? Cactus? Did we always, oh, I think we saw a regular card, not a, we, we haven't seen a reverse of him. We have a regular there, uh, reverse, another reverse. And just a standard holographic. All right, pretty interesting, nothing too special there. All the energies over there. There's another thing is that it, you might actually be thinking that you're pulling something because you see the edges. It doesn't matter. It's actually just the holographic. So that's kind of interesting. Jesus. All right. Grab that code card. Take that to the side. That energy is nothing. Crushing hammer. Felite? 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 What the fuck? Starly, Shroomish, Ultra Ball, Espreth, Espreth, Arvin. I, I'm i not even going to try that one. That's our reverse. First reverse. That is our second reverse. He looks like a little tree that's dancing. Got less some like berries on him or something. And we got the holographic version. Cool. All right. So, so far, just one character card. And um, one EX card. All right, come on, give me something else, man. Give me, give me at least like one or two more pulls. Give me one more EX card. I'll be happy with that. And give, give me like two um, just just one. Oh man, I have to get used to that. And just one uh, like two more character cards or something. Quaxley. We haven't seen the the, the first card. Ponyard, Crushing Hammer, Nest Ball. That's actually playable. Uh, this guy, Electric Rat, Picnic Basket, we little Silk Monster guy, Energy Search, that's our reverse, second reverse, and this is a pretty, I actually like this, this, uh, uh, uh what's it called, the look of this guy, I think he should have got, um, he should have been the, the fire type, he should have been his final, they should have done like a middle version or something, or got him like more toughed up, but he looks cool. It's a nice one, actually. I like, I like, I like the overall look of that Pokemon. I think his design is cool. Two more packs. Come on, man. Smack that one on the ground. S smack it again. That's been working us for us lately. We got some good pulls after we smacked it on the ground. So, who knows? May, may, maybe, maybe it does work. You know, maybe, maybe it does work. Throw that to the side. Actually, we don't need that. Maniki. This guy. This guy. Tradect or something. Kasakid. Cap Cap Sukid, I think. Potion. This guy, this smaller cactus. We got a stadium card. Balloon guy. We got our first reverse. Second reverse. Trash. And a holographic. Trash. Alright. So far, tools haven't been great. Nothing so far. Again, I'm not, I don't know how I feel about. Our holographics being pulls, but we'll see. This is our last pack for today. Nine packs and nothing great. 
Okay, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna put that to the side. Just take this energy. It's just easier to do that real quick. Pokemon Catcher. Quaxley. This bad boy. This is the Flagato. It's the middle evolution for Spaghetti-O. Spaghetti Cat. XP Share. This is a pretty good one, actually. Not too bad. Growlithe. That's actually a card we've actually already pulled as a reverse. Oh! And we do end it up with the Gyarados EX, baby. Just an ultra rare, I think, because that's what the two black stars mean. But that is one of the good cards that we had to pull from this set. I will take it, baby. Nice one. Um, there is one thing I do have. Uh, now finish the video. Oh, what is this? The Terra. As long as this Pokemon is in your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Both yours and your po opponents. Ooh, so they have a special rule. Interesting. So one thing I am not the biggest fan of with the X cards, it's its HP. What the fuck? Not a big fan. GX cards had pretty high HP, up to 250. Um, tag teams had three price cards, so it doesn't count. V cards have three price cards, so it doesn't count. V stars, super overpowered. EX cards, I think, are okay, but there is EX cards with 300 HP. As a regular card that takes two price cards, that is absolutely insane amount of HP. Yes, Gyarados is a staged, and so is some of the other, um, like the Gardevoir. But 300 HP for a regular card is absolutely ridiculous. I don't get how a card like this can be an EX card. And a card like this can be an EX card. You might say this is unstaged. It's basic. So it has an advantage. The answer is no, it doesn't. Because there's stage cards that have around the same HP. It, like for me, it doesn't make sense. 300 HP, I think, is 20 or 30 above of what it should be. I find it a little ridiculous. Um, but... That's probably my biggest grudge with the set. Um, is the HP's uh, rising exponentially uh, to the point that it's, I think, a little ridiculous. But it is what it is. So I'll be showing you guys all the reverses we did in the pulling for today's video. Oh, wait. Oh, I did have it right. My bad. A lot of reverses. I did. I do think we got one reverse already that was... um, What's it called? That's uh, actually... A repeat. So, don't have much. N most of these do not have much value, if any value whatsoever. Just a couple of cents. Less value than they even had beforehand. Uh, since they're a lot more common and a lot more easy to get. Which I like. Again, I'm full of supporter versus being even more common than they used to. I'm totally down for that. Uh, especially, it was a little hard to actually pull reverses for a complete set. Holographics being guaranteed though, I think it's okay for certain sets, like special sets like Champion's Path. Um, but don't know how I feel about them being guaranteed uh, ones for other sets. Just not my biggest. Uh, I don't not the biggest fan of that. So it is what it is though. This is all the other stuff in the playing. These are hol holographics. No double, so I'll take that. This is our promo card, and we did get at least one character card. That's why I'm still calling them. I don't care. The art card. They get two nice EX cards. A Gyarados is actually a really nice one as well. So, that is it. I know it is a super long video. <laughs> I'm actually tired of talking. I need to drink some water or something because I am absolutely tired. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. We have an entire another boost uh, Elite Trainer box. And we'll have a bunch of other stuff to open up. And don't worry, I will not take anywhere near as long. I just wanted to explain my thoughts. If anybody cares and stuff like that. And again, it's my first actual look at uh, Scarlet and Violet. Other than that pack that I open up. Uh, a single pack that I open up on my TikTok. But yeah. Stay tuned. We have a ton more to uh, actually, of course, watch. I mean, uh, open up so for you guys to watch. And a lot more to open up. And uh, a lot more to actually show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check everything else down in the description. Specifically, my TikTok, Instagram, gaming channel, Lego channel, as well as stream that down below if you guys are interested in donating. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys.